Hi everyone, my name is Tasha Smith. I am a PhD student. I work with SACO at the CSIR and I'm registered at WITS and work with the GCI. So my project is on understanding and parametrizing the subgrid scale processes in the Southern Ocean and working towards improving variability and trends in Earth system models. The motivation behind the study is that oceans play a critical role in mitigating the effects of climate change. The southern ocean, south of 30 degrees, accounts for 75% of the additional heat uptake and 43% of the anthropogenic carbon uptake. Models are a most useful tool to simulate the Earth system and predict climate change effects for the future. But with increasing resolution, you incur a large computational expense. And models, uh, particularly in the Southern Ocean, fail to adequately simulate the ocean system and have significant biases. So you can see with the figures on the right, the top plot shows a 1 12th degree model and the bottom shows a half degree model. You can see a lot of the features in the top plot are completely missing in the lower plot. So you, you've got a lot less variability and this can significantly impact models. So our hypothesis is that by including that subgrid scale physics, that it might be the key to improving confidence and reducing bias in future predictions. In this study, we're focusing on mesoscale dynamics, which are deviations from the main uh, large scale flow. So these flows occur around length scales of about 10 to 100 kilometers and evolve over days to months. So you can see them in the figure on the right in terms of relative vorticity in the strong red and blue uh, colors, red being anticyclonic and blue being cyclonic eddies. These two different types have opposing characteristics in the system. So mesoscale flows can exhibit high kinetic energy and they can mix and alter these large scale dynamics. So they're very important in terms of heat and carbon transport and uptake. So our other focus in the study is on the mixed layer. So it's the topmost layer of the ocean. Um, it acts as a gateway between the atmosphere and the deeper ocean. So in summer, with increased solar radiation, it can be around 50 meters, whereas in winter with the deeper mixed layers, um, it can be around 500 meters. So wind blows over the surface and can induce mixing and turbulence. And this layer is very important as it controls the uptake of heat and carbon and can also bring nutrients from below into the, into the mixed layer to be used. Our study requires the use of high resolution ocean models. So currently we have a 1 12th of a degree model which captures most of the mesoscale features. This is run over the entire Southern Ocean domain but we've broken it down into a smaller subregion seen in the, the white box in the top figure. So this region is also encapsulates three dynamically distinct regions uh, broken up by the fronts. And you can see in the plot below um, the mixed layer depth in each of these regions and the effect that different types of eddies have on the mixed layer depth. Also to note is that there's um, some intra-seasonal variability within the mixed layer depth. So we want to know what is happening at that time and so what is, what is creating that variability. So we also have a 1 over 36 degree model which covers the whole mesoscale and permits some of the largest sub-mesoscale features. So we'll use this in a process study. The main objectives of this research is to identify the mechanisms driving heat and carbon flux in the Southern Ocean. And we want to develop a more suitable parameterization for mesh scale processes from a Southern Ocean perspective so we can include the effects in global models without substantially increasing the computational cost that usually comes with, with them. So our first priority is to investigate the impact of mesoscale fronts and eddies on variability of carbon and heat, then proceed to a process-based study where we determine the mechanisms that drive those. And lastly, we want to develop a parameterization and test it in coarser resolutions and in global Earth system models. Thank you very much for listening to my talk.